I don't know what all the problems are right now that I got to fix, but I'm really happy. Uh, no, overall, great win. Defense did a great job. You're looking playing a team here at Missouri that's averaged over 40 points a game at home. Um, a team that's blown out everybody they've played at home, come in to hold them to six points, I think was uh, was fantastic effort by our defense. Thought we played really, really hard defensively. Uh, offensively, I thought we played well. I thought we had, you know, we really we, we hurt ourselves, and, and, and they made plays, though, with the negative yardage plays really hurt us. Uh, I thought we, we had a couple missed, you know, a couple missed reads by Kyle, but, you know, part of it is he's get, they're getting pressure on us. I think, uh, you know, so we weren't as clean as we wanted to be offensively, and there were some, some opportunities to put up more points and more, more yards and, uh, and go. You know, the negative yardage rushing plays and everybody gets all freaked out about the rushing. I don't. I'm like, whatever. You know, I mean, I don't. But I think we ran for some positive yards today. We also ran for some negative yards, but you know they all count in. So everybody looks at the average and says, "Oh, there must be a big issue." Not really, uh, right? <laughs> right? What'd you say about winning? That's winning. all that matters, right? I don't run, throw, pass. I don't care. Uh, what do you guys got? Anything? Can you talk about the two catches, Josh making that adjustment? That was a beautiful catch. Beautiful catch, yeah. Josh's catch, you know, amazing. And, and you look, you know, you have you have four senior wideouts. I, I, I that all they worry about is getting better. All they worry about is is performing to their best when they're on the field, or whether it's special teams, offense, or defense. And those are that special group, you know. Um, it's no egos. No concerns. Hey, I'm on the field. I'll keep doing this. I'll keep doing that. They get after each other. They motivate each other. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, as a coach, it's a, it's a really special thing. I I trust all of them. I don't, you know. And and the great thing is, is even the young guys, right? I mean, Trey's played a lot of football for us, and you, and you really trust him making big time plays. And then Copeland's really stepped up his game a ton, you know. And so now, I mean, you look at it, and now he's rolling. You know, I think he's looked at them and said, Hey, I'm I'm be like them. And I'm like them, and now he's making plays all over the field for us. And you know, and it, you know what it makes it really easy to do is call plays when you're not worried about who's getting the ball or, or who's doing this. Now, at times we might like come off sideline, hey, let's get this guy this this shot, give him a chance right here. It's really funny if it goes well, they let me know. I mean, why aren't you giving me the shot every time? And if it doesn't go well, oh boy, I mean, they hear it from all the other boys. Like, boy, he put he gave you that chance. If that was me, like that would have been a touchdown, you know. And and they get after each other. So it's it's just a fun group to watch and how they work and how they how they motivate each other. And then catch. Great catch, you know. P Ryan, I, I think you know and he gets he gets lost the year he's having catching the ball, uh, and the matchups and the problems he causes coming out of the backfield. And you know and we run we run a pro style offense. You know, and if you look at it, I mean, you look and say, hey, you know, and I, and I think that's one of the things that he's understood and really benefit is, hey, I'm, I'm running the offense. It's going to be really similar to what I might be doing next year when I get the opportunity to go play in the NFL and uh, catching balls and doing this. And, hey, I'll get some carries here and there. i got to make take advantage of my carries. But i got to be a three-down, all-purpose back to be able to do everything. i got to be able to catch, protect, run, do it all. And he's done that. And you see now, you know, I mean, you get the opportunity to go single them up and, you know, and run receiver routes and catching the ball coming out of the backfield, catching the ball in the slot. And uh, that was a great catch by him. Yeah, six points defensively the last few weeks. How much is you know John Grenard being healthy really helping? Well, I think I think it's 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 a lot you know help and, and the leadership he brings. But I think also it is the fact now that we've had so many injuries, had to play so many guys. All of a sudden now you have some depth. Now we're rolling a lot of guys on defense, and you're seeing us be fresh for four quarters, go be able to play. And you know I think the trainers were really they're they're hopeful Bernie's back for Florida State, which we weren't sure that it, that would be close. And then you know Zoo should be. Fine for Florida. I mean, there's, that should be a no question coming off of you know the ankle spray. It was going to be on the edge kind of for these, and you look at how he comes, but he'll be he should be full go really starting Florida State practice week. How very, when you're facing a team that's lost three straight and now is returning home and it really needs a win, how do you make sure your guys don't lull or go to sleep? Well, I mean, we because we got to play. We got a lot going on for us right now, and we knew we had to come bring our A game here. When you watch how this team's performed, the talent they have, and how they've been able to perform at home. Uh, as a team and just dominate people at home, uh, you know, uh, in the type of team they have. You know, you look at look at their losses. They they played. They I thought they played Georgia tough. You know, they they lose to Kentucky in an absolute monsoon in a close game. And the Vandy, they gave a couple big plays and made some mistakes. I'm sure that they're probably kicking themselves over. But 
uh, you know, in league, but you look at this team when they're at home and they're clicking and they got players on, on, on offense and defense. Uh, so we knew we had to come in here and play really well. And I thought, I thought we did as a team played really well. I thought, you know, the, the mistakes really weren't, we didn't make critical mistakes on offense. We didn't, we didn't make mistakes that would cost us a game. We made mistakes that we could have played better, but nothing that was a bad mistake that, that really hurt us as, as the whole course of the game went on against a really good team. So um, just happy with how our guys played. With the offensive line kind of do the second half, the first half pretty shaky. Can? No. Okay. <laughs> Was that from here, Cannon? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I, I think. Yeah, when I'm very good. Yeah. I, I, well, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure Hevesy had some motivating words for everybody. Uh, but, I, you know, I think part of it is getting into the flow of the game. I mean, Heggie's missed, you know, hadn't played since the Georgia game and then, you know, didn't start practice until midweek. Uh, and then. I, they were, they were pretty these, – these guys are a good, really good football team. You know, they got a really good defensive front, and they, they, they're very aggressive coming after you. Uh, play, play, you know, mix up, do a great job with their defensive scheme, mixing up coverages, and, uh, you know, are able to, able to get to us and cause some sacks and that really hurt the drives. You know, I thought, you know, we were moving the ball well, and, and it wasn't like, boy, we ever got stuck in the mud. It was we're moving the ball, big negative play that we couldn't recover from, you know, and then end up having to punt. So that was probably uh, – I don't know. That's annoying. When you keep winning, winning the game, how important is it winning a kind of game like that that was really didn't have much momentum going at halftime? Yeah, I, you know, it was really good at halftime. I didn't. It wasn't like we had great momentum, but I, it wasn't like we didn't have momentum. You know, we 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 our defense. We played great defense. You know, you look. They they hit two long pass, the two passes on on one drive, and then we kind of shut them down, held them to a field goal. And offensively, you could see we were moving the ball. Like, you know, it was kind of big forward, big forward, big forward, big loss, drive killer, had to punt. So it wasn't like, boy, we were not moving the ball at all. We were moving it in probably both directions, uh, forward and backwards in, in, in chunks. And so it was one of those things where um, it wasn't like there was like, uh-oh, what do we do? we got to change everything at halftime. We just had to clean up some little things. Um, and we did that in the second half. Yeah, we, you know, if you want to be a good team, you want to be a great team, you got to win in November. You'll be able to go on the road, win tough conference games in November. You know, and won a big one at home last week, won this one, finish up. Uh, hey, at six and two, uh, and you know, we did all we can do. We, you know, at this point, we've done all we can do. I mean, obviously, with with what, how the season's gone. But coming into today, we did everything we can do. Uh, our getting to Atlanta's out of our hands, but it's it's still there. You know what I mean? We had to win today to keep that hope alive, uh, and we did that. And if not, then we'll, we'll you know we we don't get there. We'll enjoy the bye week. Uh, this week, we'll improve on different things. We'll get ready to go play state in a couple weeks, and that's going to be a. a it's a fun game, man. That's what you're. That's what it's all about. Going and play those guys, and then um, you know, and hopefully get uh, get to another good bowl game. How different is this, this team's response then since you know the Georgia game compared to maybe last year? Well, I think the maturity of the team and the leadership of the team has shown. I uh, not not that it was terrible last year. I just think it what didn't know, and now this team knows. You know that hey, we're, there's there's standards and expectations when you're Gator. You're going to show up. Hey, you're everyone. I mean, you're going to get everyone's A game. And week in and week out, when the Gators come to town, it's a big deal. You know, when you get to play the Gators, that's a big deal for everybody. And we got to bring our A game to be able to do that. And um, that's what part of the Gator standard is. And I think the guys understand it a lot more. And there's a different expectation within this team. What does it say about this team with all these injuries you've had to deal with um, to get to nine wins on us? Uh, you know, like I said, our guys bought in. Our guys have bought in, next guy up mentality, guys work. Our coach, uh, you know, that's a, that's a big assistant coaches deal. Uh, I mean, the assistant coaches are doing a great job of put it, get preparing guys and putting guys in position to be successful. Uh, they've done a good job. And the players responding to that of saying, hey, my number's called. I better be ready. Coach is going to put me in a good position. My, hey, my, assist, my position coach is going to put me in a good position. Coordinator is going to call a good play for me to be in position and do what I can do. And all I got to do is trust in what's going on, believe in it. And most importantly, you know, as, as a team, worry about the plays I'm on the, on the field. If you look to our leaders, worry about – don't worry. Don't, don't worry about who starts. Don't worry about 
who's rotated. Don't worry about what number of plays I play. Don't worry about what's going on with this or what's going on with that. Worry about one thing. When I'm on the field, go as hard as I can go and play the best of my ability. And if I do that, I'm going to become a great player. We're going to have a great team. And I think, you know, when you look, and especially you start with some of the older guys, they do that, right? You can look at a Kyle Trask. He was ready to go play. His number was called. I'm ready to go play, right? I mean, you can, you can look at a receiving core, which I learned last night because I finally asked the question. I said, how do you guys figure who's, who starts, which of our captains starts? And Josh's like, we rotate. I'm like, awesome, cool. I didn't know. I, I didn't even pay attention. You know what I mean? Just worry about the plays you're on the field, you know? And uh, look at a P run, roll out, good. When you're on special teams, you look at Tyree Cleveland, go cover kicks, right? I mean, you look at, look at, look at the DBs. Uh, you know, hey, worry about the plays you're on the field, the safeties, roll those guys through. Corners, young corners get a chance. Be ready to go play when your number's called. And, that, and that's it, you know? Look, look at Emory Jones. When we, we run you in, go run on the field as hard as you can, do the best you can, and run off the field. Uh, when guys buy into that, you have a lot of success, and that, that's part of the success that we've had to be able to deal with the injuries because guys have bought in to the other part of it. Is Emory increasingly comfortable Well, I think he's always comfortable running the ball. I know he's very confident throwing it, and, you know, I probably – But I'm just saying in the system, it like – Yeah, I, well, you know what I think he's really done a good job of? Of being ready. You know, of sitting there and being, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll you in, and you never know when it's coming. I'm going to roll you in. Roll and go ready to go. Uh, and I think you see he's a dynamic runner. I, I mean, I, I haven't opened it up completely for him in the past game yet, but I think it's starting to build, build his confidence of, hey, I'm a playmaker, right? And I think you saw it on that pass to KT is, hey, I'm a playmaker. Coach, I, I'll whip it down the field with the best of them now. And, you know, he did last week, did this week, and I think you're just starting to see it build his confidence more and more. He's done a really good job, you know. Learning, I mean, he's a playmaker, you know, and you know, I mean, that's one of that's the probably that's the second most pos more important position in the secondary, and you know, and so he's really bought into adapting that, and you see him making some plays. I have complete trust in him to do it. I mean, we're Kyle's pretty good too. You know, so I mean, it's a, it's a, you know, I mean, we just, those guys, I, I love how they've handled it. You know, what? hey, they run on the field, they run on the field. I, Kyle's never questioned anything when Emory, hey, Emory, who's in? You know, they don't question any of that. They just go do their thing. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you.